A real laser beam can only approximately very close to a Gaussian Bank distribution, the energy distribution, the oxidation layer on aluminium. You must use very sharp life. Hi everybody, welcome to Jelly Talk. Today we're going to talk about the beam quality. The Gaussian mode laser, the single mode laser, and the multi-mode top hat laser. What's the difference? How to choose them? I've been talking about this topic two years before, the difference between single mode and multi-mode. And there are, I believe, many of our customers or people who are buying laser cleaners, you know that you need to choose between single mode and multi-mode. And I want, you know, sometimes uh, more education in the market, more customer came to us and they are very clear or determined they're going to buy a top head laser or they're going to buy a single mode laser. I want to make sure that both of us, all of us, are in the same common understanding of this definition. I feel that I need to talk it, about it again is because especially after the launching of our GT500 because our GT500 is kind of a combination uh, of both single mode and multi mode or let's say between. So this cause a little bit misunderstanding or a little puzzling for me or even for most of you. That's why I want to do it again today to completely uh, explain what this definition means. So first we need to talk about the definition beam quality. What is beam quality? Beam quality is a dimensionless value which means that it's the relationship between two factors that is uh, divided or is plus. So it's actually uh, we, was, we can see this uh, function, this equation. Uh, it's a Gaussian beam. Uh, Gaussian beam is a um, uh, dimension is value which named it M square. So you will see this number or specification in the menu of the laser source or your machine, which shows that the beam quality of the laser source is M square uh, equals to 1.5 or M square value is 2 or even 12, something like that. So what does it mean and how to choose and how it affects our cleaning effects? So first, when we talk about the beam quality, we need to bring out the Gaussian beam, the best beam quality. The M square equals to 1, which is the equation we look here. So all the parameters means from the energy distribution cloud diagram, we will see that a real laser beam can only approximately very close to a Gaussian beam distribution, the energy distribution, um, because this is the, the beam shape of a Gaussian beam. From the energy distribution diagram, we see that a real laser beam can only approximately very close to the distribution of a Gaussian beam, which looks like this. And if we, the, the Gaussian beam M square equals to one, and this is theoretically one, but a real laser beam can only, you know, go as sharp as possible, but you will not, you know, get to the theoretically, the dimension is value one. So mainly in practical, the M square, we will see that from this equation, the shape of the beam decides the quality of the, of, of the, of the laser beam. Normally we call it M square value less than two, we call it a single mode. And this is a Gaussian. And M square value bigger than five, we call it multi-mode. And MP tension is not absolutely right. I mean, it's just what we believe is like this. Mm, but I, I check with the engineers that most of the engineers or scientists or manufacturers they agree that M square less than two. We agree that it's a single mode. And for which kind of mode you call it a multi-mode, either it's five or six or seven or four, this depends. So I want to bring it up that if you are buying a laser, you ask the manufacturer if you are a top head laser, they say yes. So actually this doesn't mean anything. So you need to know that what kind of top hat you want. Because for top hat, you go probably not so sharp and you go the beam like this. And even you have different shapes. So you got different value. So you got eight or maybe 10 or 12. So actually this will affect 
uh, the cleaning speed or, or effectiveness, we will see that after we will make a test. And we, today we have two machines, one is single mode M square 1.5, one is a multi mode M square 12. So we will compare these two machines in the same material, how it cleans and what kind of things, speed and effects you get. And another way we explain the, the, the beam quality. Of course, we, from the equation, we know the value of the M square, which make it easier that what we're talking about the quality. Another way that we will see from the uh, energy and by a thermal interferometer, when you shoot the laser in the surface of a material, you, you normally we divide the energy area into three areas, which in the center is the very center and which the temperature is very high. And uh, then there is um, the second region, we call it um, the, the area besides the central. And then there is the edge. So the temperature are different, which means temperature because it's the energy that you put on there is different. We will see from the uh, test equipment that the single mode and multi mode, they have different uh, space of the areas, which cause uh, different effects in the materials. And then simply we see that single mode has very sharp, if you, if you um, compare that the, the laser tool as a life, I mean in the kitchen, and this single mode is very sharp, so you can chop or you can cut uh, very, uh, uh, very deep or quick uh, with this sharp tool. Then if you go with a multi mode, you, you probably uh, splash or maybe you don't use the sharp list of this life, but you, you put equal power and you, you, you put more energy on that. Let's see how it affects working with the two lasers. Okay, now let's go and make the test. So after all the tests, we came to the conclusion. For samples like this, the oxidation layer on aluminium, you must use very sharp life, which is a single mode. The M square value has to be as low as possible. Then you can, you, actually this one is cleaned by the single mode laser and this is multi mode. You actually cannot work on that. And for the, for the modes, this is uh, for making some sm small parts, intricate parts. For these kind of things, because you need to protect the base material, they are very sensitive to the energy of the laser. In these occasions, you need multi mode, the uh, top head or the M square as bigger as possible. So you protect the base material and also you get the speed. And for something like this, very very thin and they are very also uh, very sensible to heat and very easy to get distortion if you work over time on it we also recommend single mode because the energy is small every single mode laser every pulse is uh, smaller millijoules in energy and for paint um, or rust especially for rust it's very easy to take off you don't need very sharp life to work on that you need blunt, so you use top head or uh, multi mode or bigger M square value to to to, get, to have uh, equal um, uh, effect uh, service after cleaning and to have faster speed, higher efficiency. So this is simply the conclusion for what we're talking about: how to choose and what do you mean by a single mode and a multi mode? It's a uh, beam quality, it's M square value and it's the shape of the beam 
when we work in this uh, cleaning industry, actually we test um, we test every laser with different cleaning, uh, different materials. We customize laser source. So let's come back to our GT500. It's something the M square value <laughs> is not smaller than two, not bigger than five. So that's why I always explaining to you that it's a it's a compromise, it's a combination of single mode and multi mode, which allows you to uh, to be powerful in many scenarios that you can take off the very strong attached uh, layers, but you can also get gain high speed and uh, protect the base material. So that's that's why we customize the laser source, and we will keep you know uh, we besides our stand standard products, we also provide solutions. Uh, like uh, the uh, inline production or you are devoted on um, certain kind of cleaning we can also customize the best quality uh, beam quality lasers to to match your uh, special applications so besides the beam quality the m square value is this the only thing that affects the cleaning i mean when you are choosing a machine you're buying a 300 watt uh, single mode laser is the only thing that you you need to pay attention let's see some test example we use a 300 watt um, single mode 1.5 millijoule uh, and then we can we, we we make the same cleaning on the same material the same parameter but with different field lengths f160 f254 and f420 uh, let's say how it uh, goes. So after this, you know that M square value is very important. But besides that, the beam pass, how to choose the beam pass configuration is also very important. Um, and this, we'll talk about it in the next video. See you next time. Bye.